So uh, in this uh, part, we'll be seeing the spread operator in the object. So we'll be looking into uh, with the help of example. So let's say um, we have an object. Let's say we have a name. Then let's say. Then let's say which has a trait. Let OPG2 equal to, let's say, um, country. Country, India, and then let's say I'm spreading OPG1. Right. So now if I console my now, if I console my OPG2, OPG2, you might think that your output will be like, um, your output will be like country uh, India, and then uh, it will be like, uh, it will be like name, and then age will be like uh, 20, right? So you might think about it, but the thing is, uh, what will happen is, like, it actually doesn't happen. I mean, so what will what the, the test will do is spreading an, the the object one. What it will do, it will wait. Uh, so what this will do is that it will make copy, make a copy of the key value pairs of this object, and it will put that just paste that here, right? So now my output will be like country. I got the country. And uh, because I have made a copy of the key value pairs of the object one, I will exactly get name and age as the, the key value pairs, separate, separate key value pairs. It will be inside one object itself. Like, so let's say uh, clear all the drawings. Mm, yeah. So now if I run this, no in index.js, so you will get the output like name and then age, right? So it is just ba just basically, it is just like a array, array spreading as, as well. So you must be doing like, uh, like something called ARR1, right? And then ARR, and then again, spreading ARR2, two, isn't it? So you are basically what you are doing is like uh, copying the array one and copying the all the elements of array two and making the and uh, and pasting it, that into a new array and it will give you the final array which has all the elements that are in the array one as well as the array two. So this is how actually all the object object spreading actually works. Uh, so yeah.